Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarander. And today is actually one of the first time I'm actually using a headset. I hope you guys can appreciate that and it's something I actually bought to be able to stream more often, to have a clearer voice. I hope it sounds good for you guys. I might upload this without actually looking how good it is. I actually have just a few seconds of uploading time before my fiance to get back from the store. So basically, I wanted to showcase the battle I had today against Blue Sea and just get content on my channel. This battle was really, really interesting and definitely a tough team for me to go up against. Um, and also, in general, this is definitely not the toughest in your tiers whatsoever. It definitely is a much, much more safer and nicer themed based team here. Just look at the Blue Sea while I move my head a bit. Yeah, head, head. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I look really silly. I, I feel like looking at myself is really silly. Uh, anyway, looking to my opponent's team here, we do have a Livani, um, Miltank, Fro, Sidra, and Hitmore, and of course a Meowstic. Meowstic seems to be the obvious lead, really scared of that thing having the likes of Thunder Waves. And just in general, Meowstic can be very, very tough to deal with. But you basically have to find out the set, try to find a footing, and work with that. Uh, I have nothing really in general that could deal with this. I really, like I said, I was really scared of a potential T wave. My, my myself is using Rhydon, Tropius, um, oh, and damn it. I uh, call it Tylex. Unfessant. Yes, Unfessant. Assault Vespinda, um, Avalog, which is something I really wanted to use for quite some time. I really showcased that on Twitter. Hope you guys are following there, of course. And Duition, which is a very bulky Duition. And um, yeah, that's that's gonna work real nice for me. This is team build up. It was really <laughs> frustrating. Uh, Tropius can actually deal with a lot of things here, and also Avalog's only real threats here is, uh, to be honest, if he as even if it's the Meowstic T Rex, it, it's only it's Heatmore and Fro who can stop Avalog. If Heatmore and, and Fro is gone, then Avalog should be able to come in and deal with the rest of his Pokemon. So that was the general idea. That's what I'm gonna work with. And I'm gonna move my face again, and we're gonna start this battle. Not particularly in that order, but the face switch is gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna lower that screen. Uh, so it's gonna start off with Salty. I decided to actually start off with Foreign the Ride On. And um, you're gonna get exactly why he calls this thing Salty. He's gonna go for a trick here, and he's gonna see, actually give me the, um, <laughs> the show of salt. Just really, really rub it in with those salts. So that was actually generally funny. Uh, I did not expect that. Uh, now it's gonna set up perfect. I just went for Stealth Rock. Spot that was uh, really the best play I could make. And after this, I decided to go for Rock Blast. And basically, I just want to see what move it decides to go for. Rock Blast, of course, with Reflect Up is not gonna do a whole lot. And um, I did predict him to switch out here. So he's gonna switch out to his Sock, which is a pro. Which really threw me off guard. Haha! <laughs> if I didn't go for Dragon Tail, of course. And um, basically, at this point, I was generally scared. Uh, Rhydon can keep up with the pressure, but um, without the Violite, he's not gonna work as well. And so I decided here, I think, to go for an EQ, thinking that he would attack me. Seems to be the, honestly, his best bet. Psy Shock is not doing a whole lot because I'm being extremely defensive. Psych would have been the superior choice, but then again, uh, Sideshock covers a lot of ground. Uh, I did predict him here to switch out again. Uh, he's gonna go to his fall, which is the Livany. And I went just for not Dragon Tail. Because I felt that that was honestly... Or actually, uh, I was really not predicting him to switch out. It was just that uh, the matchup was just too much for me to bear against Meowstic. So Sheetmore is gonna come in, which is the Heatmore. And uh, it's a very nice name in general. Um, and I couldn't stay in. I know Heatmore's. I'm, I actually have one of my own, it has Giga Drain, he has Sucker Punch, you know, very, very evil in general. And he went for Giga Drain, not gonna do a whole lot. I was feeling safe of staying in, and I decided he had to go for Recover to see if he had a uh, knockoff. He did have knockoff. He scores crits. I'm defensively built. That's bullshit right there. But that is so what happens, you know. It is what it is. It's a freaking game, and wow, thank you. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the Tylex, which is the scumbags of scumbags, and he's just gonna do what he does best, which is the scope lens, crit, and he has sniper naturally. He hurts. Oh no, he has super luck. 
which means it has a very high chance of actually critting. Uh, so it's a very very nice set and I really really like using it. Uh, I'm just going for U-turn here. I do suspect Cedra to pack the Ice Beam and uh, he's going to get the Poison Point here. Which was actually good in case his Meowstic has a T-Wave. And uh, I was generally happy about that to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to go to Celos, which of course is my Spinda. And um, I was basically just trying to... Uh, well, to be honest, to take as much hits as possible and win the matchup. Seedra is extremely, extremely defensive. Uh, I think it has 100 base defense in contract with Divilite. This, that thing is just not gonna cut it. So anyway, um, Sir Pau did not do a whole lot. He's gonna pack the high Hydro Pump, which is not gonna kill me. Uh, pretty darn close too. And I went for Drain Punch, hoping I will do a lot more. I do squat! Like, that's nothing. That's nothing. He's gonna get the poison point. Cedar is just like, no, man. No. Poison. Deal with it. Put those glasses on. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for a sucker punch. Trying, really, really trying to kill this thing. But no, no, no. Uh, Cedar is not gonna fall here. He has the points of the poison. And he's gonna fuck me over. So anyway, I'm gonna go back to Tylex. Um, Tylex can really, really do wonders. Does outspeed the majority of his team and just go for U-turn, take him out. Um, uh, I do score a crit there, which of course was to be expected. I guess like a 50% chance I should do him so. So it's super, super mean. So I'm just going to go Trombius, thinking that Tropius could be able to deal with whatever he got. He's going to go to his sock. And of course, that is not the sock. <laughs> That's the pro. And uh, this is a special set, Tropius, and I. I didn't necessarily see myself out speeding, but I do so much damage there. Uh, he's gonna go for poison jab, and it does so much damage that it's easy a two hit KO. Uh, even with the citrus, which was really nice here, I was thinking, oh, you know what? I can do this. Uh, and I, of course, get the harvest, but he is gonna get burned. That means that he is really dangerous now. He has 50% boost, he's a gut set. I can't stay in, I need to get out of here really. And he's gonna go for poison jab, but that's fine. Uh, I can take that, no problem. Uh, and the burn will of course keep willing him down. But he packs the storm pro and that's Boom! Foreign! <laughs> it's no way he's taking that. He's gonna go down. He is going down. That is one a hell of a pro really. Storm pro. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, gonna go back to Tylex. Natural outspeeding yet again, and I just go for a turn, finish it off. And as of right now, he has the Meowstic left, he has his Levany left, and um, if there is one more, um, I think I'm gonna find that out. The fellas, Faceless Music, yeah, right, the Mill Tank. And the Mill Tank could have been dangerous, and I say could have been, because like, like I said previously, before going into this battle, um, wow, it actually outspeeds, yeah, 100 base. Fucking fat ass mill tank is out speeding, freaking unpleasant. All right, uh, like I said previously here, I only need the heat more and um, the heat more and the throw out away to make sure that my Ava log could work. And when I say work, I mean that his Pokemon can't stop it. There is no way mill tank at best could have maybe toxic and that could work, but that is not what's gonna happen. He's gonna show him, of course, the life for us, you guys saw there. So this is a very, very mean, physically oriented mill tank. And he's gonna go for a super effective move of Brick Break, and there is just no way. No way you're breaking this Avalog. He is standing his ground. And he's gonna curse up. And that is basically GG, sadly. Because Avalog is now on the level of defenses that is, you know, with the gods, with the Ubers. There is no way. Nobody's taking him out. He's basically a flamethrower away from dying, but as far as defenses go, he's fine. He is fine. Uh, so anyway, my opponent's gonna switch out to his 11 basically trying to get some kind of momentum here. But even with Ava Ava uh, Avalanche not boosted after a hit, it's still gonna kill him. And uh, yeah, he is definitely not going to be able to recover from this. Um, so he's gonna go now to his uh, Meowstic, I believe. And the Meowstic is not going to do a whole lot. I mean, he probably already showed his so showcase his uh, set with Reflect, Light Screen, Crick, and Psyshock. So, um, 
no hazards or uh, static changes and uh, I'm gonna get there in my light and that's super super salty and of course the avalanche will be enough so um, his last Pokemon is the milk tank and we're basically gonna see how much or how able is a milk tank to deal with this Pokemon and spoiler alert is not not that well not that well at all um, a return will do nope damage there is nope in that damage of course I'm double defenses of course with the um, curse and whatnot but that is the cow gone finish it off with a crit did definitely not matter Avalog was just that hard hidden and stone cold in that last effort so guys I really hope you appreciate this this battle uh, I'm gonna leave Blues' channel down below he's a very very good Wi-Fi battle in general and I really like this team I just I think I had a matchup really it's one of those weird things with my team is not really that good setup but it had a matchup and something or sometimes that is actually all that really is to it and um, other than that, uh, how do you think about this set? Like I said, I really want to do something more like this with my uploads. Like, the fast uploads could be something like this, very fast paced, uh, me just talking. And uh, it's basically like this, but without the nice graphics and music. It's a lazy upload, but it takes me... F it takes me... or I can't speak. It, it goes really quickly for me to make a video like this, is what I'm trying to say. So I really hope you guys could appreciate this at least. If you didn't or think the other one said it's better, uh, that only means I'll just try to strive for more of that. And like I said, the capture card is back, and uh, Wi-Fi Battle is back on, and I hope to stream more often. And uh, don't forget to check out Blues' channel. Like I said, he's like a very, very nice battler. So thank you everybody for watching, and have a good day and whatnot. And remember, the sky is the limit! <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.